What's up everybody? We are here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. As you can see, we got some rain clouds coming in, but that's okay. We're going to do something a little different today. We actually have reservations at Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, and I know that everyone's probably seen those videos before with other YouTube channels, and that's fine. We are doing things a little differently. My 17-year-old does not eat meat. It is a barbecue joint, all you can eat, all you care to eat. So we're going to see. I called and spoke with some cast members and they said to just let them know that my son doesn't eat meat and they are going to spread a little pixie dust. So we'll see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take you guys along. We'll figure it all out together. Not really sure how they're gonna accommodate that situation and she really couldn't tell me, so we're gonna see. So let's go see what we can get into. jacket. Very cute. Oh, there she is. And this is $16.99. Oh, and then you got these cute little bowls here. The bowls are $39.99. And we have these over here. What are those? Okay, so it comes with a notebook, scissors, pencils, all that fun stuff. $24.99. It's very cute. And then there's a regular size book bag too as well. It feels really good quality. Okay, this is going to be probably my next purchase right here. I can't believe I found this. This is so cute. $78. Oh my gosh, I, I love Kermit. Then you have Stitch, another Yoda, our baby Yoda, and then look at this. Oh my gosh. I would have thought you'd find this over at Animal Kingdom. So cute. I want it. 
can buy that for $49,000. Is there audio on this? What is it? Yeah. That right there actually used to be, uh, that right there used to be a uh, ice cream machine in the 80s. And then Prop's apartment of uh, Star Wars took it and made it to like a safe, portable safe. Oh, okay. Cool. You can buy this for $49,000? Is that what you said? <laughs> Rodeo barbecue. This is where we're going to be eating night. So I do want to go ahead and make a statement right now that I'm noticing. So we checked in 20 minutes before our time. Um, our reservation time is at 7 o'clock. You get to check in 20 minutes. So we checked in at 6:40, but they make you wait even more. So even though your check-in time is at 7 o'clock and that's what time your reservation is, that's not guaranteed on what time you're going to get in and sit down and eat. Um, some of these people I've heard have been sitting here for well over 30 minutes. Um, so just be mindful of that. They do text you to let you know when your table is ready. But just, you know, like I said, be aware because you could be hungry. You've got little kids and they're starving and they're miserable. Just, you know, when you go to check in, just ask them, are you guys behind? Are you, you know, on time? Because they are way behind today and it is a Wednesday, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. We're just sitting on some rocks, just waiting for our text message. How do y'all do we have a Fox place in? And if y'all follow me, I will show you your barbecue. Welcome to the rodeo. Hi. So we finally made it in, it is 7.16, so it was almost a 20 minute wait after our reservation time, but this place is super cute when you get inside. This will be your little staple for the evening. <laughs> this says grown up drinks and then it says PB and J. Grown up drink PB and J? So frozen screwball, peanut butter whiskey. They sell whiskey at Disney. They don't have whole pork. I know, but the brisket is what you eat in the QS. These plates are made to look like paper plates. What? Awesome. 
gonna crack. Weezy's watermelon salad with fresh corn mix. And Rex's romaine and kale salad with green goddess for the rest of the day. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so I'm trying a little bit of everything. Potato bottle. Mary's paw. And campfire roasted bait. Spoon to help you sharing. And enjoy. Thank you. And then, well, we kind of dug into the meat already. But there's ribs, chicken, brisket, and there's some sausage in there. I've always wanted to send one off into the sunset. Who wants to ride the pony? <laughs> Sid Phillips, get back here and apologize to your sister. Oh, man. <laughs> Do I have to? Here, little cupcake, working. Just like it. And I got the soap. Yeah. That's the best bag I want. Oh yeah, yeah. I know, it goes down and you do that. It's it's the the bottom. I got $20 for the beach in the shooting game. Huh, we should. No. Good morning, everybody. As you can see, it is the next day. Um, I was going to finish off the video last night at Hollywood Studios, but after we got done eating, it was, you know, uh, pretty late. It was 8.30, and then, you know, the show was about to start. We wanted to beat the crowds out of there. So we just kind of beeline to the car and I figured I would just jump on today and give you just a kind of full detailed on everything that happened, the breakdown, the cost. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, let's just go ahead and start from the beginning. Like I said, our uh, reservation time was for 7 p.m. and when you get there, you have to check in 20 minutes before. So we were allowed to check in at 6.40. So at 6.40, I walked up, I checked in, um, and I overheard the lady as I was walking away because another lady walked up and asked, you know, I, I've been checked in for a while now. Is something wrong? And she said, well, we're about 10 minutes behind. So right then I already knew that, you know, we were not going to be in at 7 o'clock, which is fine, you know, we had eaten a couple hours before on purpose just to make sure we were fine at that moment. We just didn't realize that you couldn't really leave that area. So another lady walked up and asked, well, you know, since we're waiting, can we just go ride a ride, this and that? And she goes, I don't recommend that because we could call you early. So you're pretty much tethered to that area. And in that area, I kind of showed it, it's, not a very big area where they have the waiting and there's not a lot of seating. There's some rocks and there was one fan. Now, I'm sure you've heard Florida is very, very hot, usually any other time, but right now, heat waves after heat waves, it's just been, it's been really crazy here. So, it was pretty miserable. I have to tell you, it was pretty miserable sitting there waiting. Um, I think we waited 30 minutes after we checked in um, and we didn't really know that you were supposed to check in 20 minutes before so we kind of got there like 10 minutes before we were supposed to check in so all together we were there for like 40 minutes just sitting there um, waiting now granted the 10 minutes that we were waiting around before that was our fault we didn't I, I mean I could have looked and I didn't look so that's on me you know 
I w was seeing some little kids getting a little antsy and hungry and everything else you know I mean some of the parents are trying to keep them occupied but when you have little kids who are hungry it's very hard to plan a restaurant like that so just keep that in mind when it comes to that restaurant now let's jump into we finally get called we got a text message I walked over and I said okay you know we this this is it we got our text message and the guy goes well what's the last name so I I told him the last name and he looked and he goes well let me go check on that he goes in he comes back out he's starting to call other people and he looks at me and he says I saw your ticket you should be up soon so keep that in mind just because you get a text message it doesn't mean that you are running right in it, it's gonna be a couple minutes after that which it wasn't but five minutes after that but again just be prepared this is my situation this is what I went through I just want to walk you through how it happened for me so that you're prepared that anything can happen um, once we got inside and was seated at our table the area was very cute little kids are going to love the inside of this restaurant the detailing and the imagination and just the little skits that they had going throughout you know when we were seated and eating um, the waitress did tell us that which her name was Yenny and she was amazing um, but um, she did tell us when we first got seated that Andy was away at school so Sid was there so we actually had the whole theme where Sid would pop up and you would have to freeze um, as toys so that was cute little kids are going to love that um, let's go ahead and jump to the situation with my son I did explain at the beginning of the murders was going to be a little different because my son doesn't really eat meat so we you know as parents obviously I called before we even booked this reservation and I asked them I said look I said my son doesn't eat meat um, are there substitutions what what do we do I don't want to pay you know the whole amount if he's just gonna eat some macaroni and cheese and a piece of bread you know there 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 is there other options the cast member that I spoke to on the phone said there is no issue you just let them know when you get there and they will sprinkle a little pixie dust for you and and make something happen so this whole time we're like okay cool you know they understand that you know they're kids they're so we got in there, we sat down, the waitress came right over and her first question was, do you have any food allergies, yada, yada, yada. I said, there's no food allergies, but my son does not eat meat. We explained the situation. I explained that I called the cast member, um, you know, through the Walt Disney World line. And she was like, well, I'm sorry. There's only one flat fee. If he eats anything, <clears throat> excuse me, if he eats anything, then it has to be the flat rate. So. Obviously, we weren't going to let my son sit there and not eat anything. So we paid it because we're not going to cause problems. But I just want you to be aware that it doesn't matter if they eat one thing or if they eat all the things. There is no working around it. There, at least not for us. There wasn't last night. Maybe they'll change it in the future. Maybe once they start getting, you know, some more people who have children who have, you know, things that they can't eat or do um, but as for last night they didn't change it so we ended up paying full price I think my son ate um, a couple bites of the corn on the cob he ate the tater tots that came with it and he had some macaroni and cheese so we paid that full amount for that oh I'm sorry he also had soda and he did partake in the dessert <laughs> what kid wouldn't partake in the dessert um, so just be aware of that like I said this is my experience maybe you'll get lucky and something different will happen for you I'm just putting the video out just to let you know how it was for our experience um, so let's get to the food I will have to say that I was I was pretty impressed with the food my husband was impressed my other son who does eat everything he was super impressed with the food um they first bring you out 
your basket of biscuits, which were amazing. I want to tell you that they're kind of like a knockoff of Red Lobster's biscuits. So if you're a fan of their Cheddar Bay biscuits, you'll really like the biscuits at Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. So they bring you out that basket first, which obviously is a tactic for you to fill up on biscuits so that you don't eat a whole bunch of meat, but that's okay. Um, after your biscuits, they bring you out three things of salad. The first salad is oh, like a watermelon salad, which was really, really good, but if it's just, I mean, it was mainly just watermelon slices, but it's good. And then they bring you another salad, which had um, like apples and romaine lettuce and it had some sort of dressing on it. That one was okay. That was my least favorite out of the three. The third one was like this tomato and cucumber salad. It was amazing. I think that was probably my favorite out of the three. I ate the most out of that one than I did the rest. So that was definitely um, a favorite of mine. And then after the salads, um, they allow you to pick four of the sides. They'll show you all the sides. We end up choosing the tater tots, the corn on the cob. We chose um, macaroni and cheese. And what was the fourth thing that we chose? I'm not really sure. I do remember that they gave us two things of the tater tots. One was plain and one had some sauce on it, which none of us touched. So I think, I think we accidentally got the wrong fourth side. So that might've been an error. That's okay. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so those were the four sides that we chose. Then you get those out along with your meats. Now in the meat basket, you get brisket sausage, barbecued chicken, and ribs. It was fantastic. It really was. Uh, the ribs were amazing. I ate ribs. Those were my favorite. My husband tore the chicken up. My other son tore the chicken up. So it was all, it was all really, really good. Now, let me tell you how that works though. We thought, oh, as soon as you get to the end of your basket, you know, because she, she pops by all the time, the, the waitresses or the waiters, they pop by all the time to check and see if you're doing okay. It's up to you to say, hey, can we get another basket of meat? And then they will put that order in. So now that I've gone and I know, what I would suggest you do is that obviously you know you're gonna get another basket of meat. So after she sets all the food down and she comes back to refill your drink, I would just go ahead and put that order in. That way you're not sitting there because we ended up just sitting there for five, 10 minutes while we waited on the next basket of meat to come. So just put that order in in the beginning. That way you're not waiting around and, and the time of you sitting there, um, you know, doesn't get prolonged by waiting around on the meat. After we were finished with our meat basket and you know the rest of the food, it was dessert time. You do get to choose from a few different desserts. Uh, the one we chose was like this silk pie kind of thing and it was so good. We all ended up getting one of those and then my youngest also got one of the forky cupcakes which he said was okay. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't the best out of all of them. I, I really enjoyed the one that, you know, the silk pie one. It was, it was really good. It was very sweet, but it was really, really good. And then when you're done, of course, you get the check and you pay. So once I got the check, I realized that my annual pass holder discount wasn't on there. So when she came back to the table, I, you know, I said, I'm so sorry, I forgot to mention I'm an annual pass holder, you know, and she goes, and she said, I'm sorry at this time, we're not doing the annual pass holder discounts for this restaurant. So that was, um, that was a little upsetting as well because you don't really get your annual pass holder discount at a lot of food places. It's mainly just the sit down restaurants that you get your annual pass holder discount. Um, 
Now that's not talking about merchandise or anything. I'm talking about food wise. So like when you go to a quick service and you get like those quick burgers and it's not, you're not gonna get your annual pass holder discount usually at most of those quick service, but every one of the sit down restaurants, you do get your annual pass holder discount. So, you know, if you go in there thinking that you're not, you're gonna have that, don't because you're not going to. At the moment, they have not started applying that yet, which was again, you know, really disappointing. So for the four of us to eat there, it was, uh, this was before the tip, it was $191 for four of us to eat. So you have to weigh the options. And again, one of those meals was for a kid that didn't eat hardly anything. So just keep that in mind. Again, it was $191 for the four of us and that's before you tip. Um, cast members they work really hard she works really hard you know she was amazing she was on top of things we always had a couple drinks in front of us at a time you know she checked on us so many times to make sure everything was okay she was really on top of it so they work really hard so you have to tip them you know a, a, a decent amount that's what they do that's how they they make their money you know so will we go back well I'm sure at some point we will once they get the annual pass holder discount and they get, you know, the waiting down, I think we probably would go back. Um, um, again, it was a great overall experience. I'm so glad that we did go and we ate there. The food was really good. The atmosphere was really good. Um, I gave it an 8 out of 10. My son gave it an 8 out of 10. Now my youngest because he didn't get to eat a whole lot of stuff. He gave it a four out of 10, but you know, we know the reasons why. And then my husband, I believe he gave it an eight out of 10 as well. He was so full, everybody was so full. We were so full that as soon as we left, we were like, uh, -uh no rides, no nothing. We, we gotta go, we just gotta go. It, we were stuffed. So you, you do have to come with your hungry pants on because you will get full. That is for sure. But I think that I covered just about everything. If there's something that you wanna ask, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I will answer it to the best of my abilities. Um, like I said, we did have a little bit of a strange experience, so I am able to answer your questions on that. Um, so I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And until next time, see ya.